now it's a time to share about the man behind our success i take this opportunity to introduce the patron and our beloved principal sir dr p santosh kumar patra dr p santosh kumar patra sir holds a b mtech and phd degree in computer science and engineering and for more than 18 years sir has been an active academician and educational administrator his area of interest includes artificial intelligence software engineering data mining and warehousing and wireless network sir has been honored with governor award thrice rashtriya gaurav award rashtriya vikas ratna award dronacharya award and young leader by ibae dubai adding feather to the cap sir has crowning glory achievement under his name sir has published 24 patents and has written 12 books and more than 88 international papers including scopus and sei 16 magazine articles and 138 newspaper coverage recently sir has been honored as an advisor to nac bengaluru ugc paramarsh national cyber Sef safety and security standards government of india sir has been in the editorial board of many publications like tata macro hill high tech publications charulata publication etc under sir's leadership colleges achieved heights like nac a plus ugc autonomous near franking sir has received 86 lakhs from dst iit bombay and from iict also received consultancy project worth rupees of 444 crores from gngc hyderabad received an amount of 31 lakhs for ugc paramarsh he is one of the greatest missionary leader and inspiration to all of us now i take this opportunity to invite our principal sir to give his inaugural address over to you sir i request you so thank you miss manu hajari for an a brief introduction and first of all <coughs> respected chairman sri am lakshman reddy sir respected executive director sri ji chandrashekhar yadav sir other management and trustee member and uh, respected chief guest of the today's program dr s biswanath raju sir professor and vice principal jntu jagatial and all the invited guest hods deans and other resource person like it is already mentioned dr priya and uh, dr sudhakar mr abhishek mr bipul and uh, all the coordinators especially dr m narayanan uh, convener of the program who is professor and hod of cac department and co convener dr pungadai and program coordinator dr satish and uh, dr r santosh kumar and uh, all the advisory committee member and organizing committee member dr gobind rajulu dr rajalingam and uh, p gobind raj and um, mrs e somia and uh, manikandan and all the uh, committee members who worked day and night and brought this concept into reality last but not the least all the invited guests and the participant across the country a very good morning to all of you so i am dr p santosh kumar patra principal of st martin engineering college whole heartedly i would like to welcome you all to this uh, aict sponsored one week online short term training program and titled as sensor network internet of things and internet of everything and the program is starting from today and it will go up to 8th may first of all at this junction first i would like to uh, thank to aict for justifying and for uh, showing the confidence on us and this is the uh, seventh uh, sttp which is funded by aict the college is organizing and another three aict funded sttp is already scheduled in this month and uh, it is also uh, we are we are in the process of hosting that one so whole heartedly i would like to extend thankfulness to aict those who have trusted us and uh, believed that we will justify to our work and given lot of sttp to us and uh, i would like to appreciate uh, cac hod dr narayanan and dr pungadai with their leadership i think in the department in this particular year if i will calculate the month like this because last year by march month the lockdown was imposed and if you will calculate from that time to today 
it's almost it is more than one year so within this one year of time period the department has successfully completed more than 10 online events and all events are massive success so i really appreciate uh, to the entire team of uh, cac those who had worked very hard and all the very best for your this event too and i would like to uh, appreciate and uh, no i would like to really grateful to the uh, chief guest of today's pro program with a very short note sir has given his consent and we know uh, sir how busy you are and uh, basically we believed and everybody knows you that how strong academician you are and your videos and all no it is all favorite of my staff member as well as uh, students so it is very fortunate to have with you uh not to have you in our program and spend some time with you sir we are really grateful to you that immediately you have given your acceptance and uh, including me all are eagerly waiting to listen to you all and finally i would like to congratulate all the participants why i would like to congratulate in the sense because you know that it is aict uh, sponsored one week online stdp and aict has given us the restriction of only 100 participants are permitted so as uh, you know the convener of the program already he had informed you that more than 350 registration within 3 days of time we received the moment we started publishing our stdp so we are uh, no in first come first served we have chosen and we have selected first 100 so you are lucky that you are one among them and also we would like to inform you that upcoming events also please try in the same way so that at least your seat is reserved so that is why the first level of congratulation for that so now i would like to because the title is quite interesting because uh, no sensor network and internet of things and internet of everything see if i will recall my past days internet and uh, iot internet of things it is not an a new concept right and uh, still if i will recall in the year of 1998 almost you no know, 22 years 23 years before uh so we used to see some of the equipments which were which were all there mounted in our home where you you would have also experienced the same thing if you just clap if you just give a clap automatically the uh, lights will on at your home and if you just give a two claps then light will be off so those kind of things it is it is a kind of a magic we used to feel and we were very happy on that by seeing those kind of devices then parallelly some iot devices came which was automatic and controlling some of the routine job of the home like switching on of the uh, water pump and switching it off when the water level will has reached to a certain limit so all these things are no it was all going on so then suddenly how what happened the lot of research has taken place and in india nowadays everybody every corner you might be seeing the street lights are there that is completely controlled through iot so no manpower is required to switch it on and no manpower is required to switch it off it is through iot it is all getting controlled and when i came to know about one iot technique uh, which was used by indian railway i was really very happy and i think everybody you might be knowing there is a train named as uh, vande bharat express and that is the india's first semi high speed train and the speed of the train is around 160 km per hour and this this train travels from delhi to varanasi in uttar pradesh and uh, the beauty of this train why i am telling this train uh, the example in today's talk in the sense the beauty of the train is it uses one iot device to prevent accident due to any kind of human error or equipment failure so for past couple of years the train is running successfully and till today there is no record and there is no incident of any kind of accident so means the iot devices are working very effectively so now railway is looking forward to implement and integrate these devices almost in all the train so that all unwanted human error or equipment failure accidents can be avoided similarly i could able to recall one of the example in the field of agriculture there is a company called uh, t tantram which is all no they are all very good for supplying and of the wellness of the premium teas in india so they are using one iot technique and this iot technique in tea garden how it is all used to monitor the moisture content and maintain the ingredients 
proportion some of its products so iot devices are used in the tea gardens in agriculture too then i was looking into some of the articles and the newspapers and all and i came to know many of the experts have predicted that the potentiality of the iot in india is very high by end of 2021 India is expected to get a market reach of 17 billion dollar in India by the end of this year in IoT field. So, and also I was reading one of the article, and there is a company called Deloitte, and everybody knows that company. It is a very good company, and one of the partner of Deloitte company, Mr. P. N. Sudarshan. So he had predicted, and he had given a global report. how this iot market will change the complete practices of human beings and how it is going to be adoptable by each and every individual citizen of the country as well as across the globe so that that also showcases that the growth of iot is phenomenal so that is why i really appreciate the organizers and the participants those who have shown a keen interest and all are available to attend this workshop and i was also going through the brochure and i understood the topics like uh, architecture of iot is planned and the, there are formal methods and healthcare domain of iot is also planned so these are all healthcare again no when it comes to healthcare means nowadays as we know because of this pandemic lot of lot of iot devices are available in the market to Uh, just name few there is a product called blue dot and it is a iot and it is integrated with uh, artificial intelligence machine learning technique where it will detect the survival rate and the survival percentage of the uh, covid 19 infected uh, uh, patient and the accuracy of this device is more than 90% is it not that great if somebody is infected there is we have a machine which will predict the survival rate and there is an a, again iot device which is already integrated with machine learning technique that is called xg boost and xg boost it will detect the severity level of the infection and we can go for it will also suggest us to go for the further treatment at the earliest so to just to save the human lives so these are all concepts are there nowadays in the field of iot that is why we have titled as iot and uh, no internet for everything so that is what it is which is a 360 degree of application in all domains so uh, with this i wish all the participant to get best out of this entire exercise and further again i would like to inform you all that no all the sessions are going to be interesting so please devote your time as well as interest because the interest of st martin as well as aict and also our bisonath raju sir's interest is the knowledge should be disseminated and the dissemination of knowledge should happen through the teachers so always whenever i get time uh, so sir is our mentor and whenever i get time i speak with sir sir used to tell so whatever the knowledge is there it should not be with us it should go to the student so dissemination should happen so definitely uh, sir we assure you that with this workshops and with this all the events whatever we are conducting for the society your vision and mission also will be fulfilled so i request all the participant to have a very good knowledge learning and also please disseminate this information to your student and of course once you attend all the sessions a certificate will be given to you which is having lot of weightage because it comes from aict but before that you will be exposed to an assessment system so finally thank you very much to all of you for the opportunity and for listening to me and all the very best to the organizer and all the very best to the participant and uh, have a great day ahead and please do take care of yourself thank you very